Hey there, welcome back to PeopleSoft channel and to the fifth episode of PeopleSoft reporting using PS Query. In this episode, we will continue our journey about expressions in PS Query and we will understand how to use drilling URLs to improve the functionality of your PeopleSoft query. So first things first, what exactly is a drilling URL? So let's say we are working on this PS Query report and this report has records related to requisition, purchase order and receipts. So this reports give you the transaction information in sourcing. So starting from requisition, it shows the purchase order created for the requisition along with the receipt information. Now suppose user wants to manually check this purchase order into PeopleSoft system. In that case, he may need to first open a new window and then navigate to purchasing, purchase order, add update PO. And then he would need to perform the search operation using business unit and POD. And then he would be able to see more details about this purchase order using the add update PO component. Now, same might be the keys for receipts for example, user may need to check more details about the receipts. So he would need to follow similar process for receipts using add update receipt component. And this process of going to the component and manually searching each of the transaction can be a little bit tedious in case user wants to check multiple transaction in the report. So to solve this problem and to make this process a little bit easier, we have another query. So let me show you the second query for the same requirement. So this is the second query with the exact same criteria as the first one. However, if we run the query, you can see in this query, we have links enabled for PO and receipt. In this report, let's say we want to check purchase order. So all we need to do is click on this purchase order ID and it will directly take you to the add update PO component. You don't even need to perform search for business unit and PO ID. System will take care of that functionality. Similarly, for receipt, let's say we want to check details about this receipt. So we will simply click on this receipt ID. It will take us to the add up receipt component and directly show us the receipt transaction. No need to even perform search for this receipt ID. So this kind of functionality can be implemented using drilling URL. So I hope now you are excited to learn about drilling URL. And without further delay, let's start with drilling URL. let's convert this report into drilling URL for purchase order. So let's go to expressions, add expression, and in the expression type, we will select drilling URL. So in drilling URL, these are seven different types of URLs which we can set up for our report. Since we are interested in opening a new component, we will go with component URL. So let's select these set of values for our drilling URL. So portal name is going to be employee and board name is going to be ERP. Next is content reference link. So for this value, you can click on add a content reference link and it will generate this structure. Now these, all of these folders are exactly same as what we have in this navigation. So since we are interested in add a big PO component, we will go to purchasing and then purchase order. And here is the required page add update PO's. 
So since we selected this menu, market and component is selected. Now in this component, we can have multiple pages. If we click on this lookup, we can see these many pages are available inside your purchase order component. So you need to know the correct page name which is required. So in this case, you can type Control Shift G and this will tell you what is page number which you are currently looking at. So in this case, it's PO underscore mine. So let's select this page which is PO underscore mine. And the last one is menu action. So these are several actions present here. So if we see, we are basically opening an existing view. We are not creating a new transaction. Since we will go with menu action as update. And then let's click on search keys. So what exactly is a search key? So imagine that you are manually coming into this purchase order component. So as soon as you click on add update view component, this search page launches and you need to provide the search value for your particular ID. Only then using this search value, you can enter into the component. The exact same thing that we need to do here. If you see on the search page, we have these set of search key and underneath search key available. Exactly the same options are available to perform search. So we will go with business unit and POID as a search criteria. So let's take the first one, which is business unit, which is also present here. Now, what should be the value for your business unit? So let me reopen the report in our PS way. I want to perform search using this business unit and this POI. So if we check fields, our business unit is coming from D table and POID is coming from C table. So we need to link this business unit PO on the search criteria here. So let's click on this lookup and this will show you on the fields which are currently present in your report. So if we go to fields, we can see 14 fields present here and you can see all of them present here. Since we decided we need to provide search using this value, let's select the notion of PO. For PO ID, the correct field in our report will be this C dot POI. So let's select this one for a POID, which would be C dot POI. So we are done with the search value for our component. Now, last thing we need to do is we need to select which column we want to make hyperlink to. So we want to add hyperlinks to this column so that when we click on POID, it will open the add of the new component. For that, you need to click on map columns and this will show you again all the fees available in your report. So we will go with C.POI, click on OK and once again click on OK. So let's run the report now and as you can see, the trailing URL has been activated for purchase order. So let's say we want to check this purchase order ending with four for this business unit. So if you click on it, it will take you to the add update view component for your new R business unit. So as expected, the training URL is working fine. So let me show you another important use case for training URL. So let's say we have this transaction and for this transaction, we want to check the voucher created in the system. In order to obtain this information, we already have a query created in the system. When we run the query, it asks us for the PO business unit and PO ID. So let's provide this information. 
when we provide the information, it shows all the vouchers which are created for this particular business room. As we can see, a voucher was created in the past with two lines that was deleted and later a new voucher was created and it was posted successfully. Now, using dwelling URL, we can directly run this particular query. We can actually link this query to our previous query so that we no longer need to manually run the query and pass the parameters. So let's complete this functionality in which we will link the second query with the first one. For that, let us create a new column which will say something like voucher details. And when we click on voucher details for any transaction to open this new query, pass the parameters BU and BOID dynamically and show us the report as we expected. So first, let's create a new column here. Let's go to expressions, click on add expression. And let's say our column name or column value should be voucher details. Since this is a free text, it should be enclosed in a single quote. And let us adjust the length as per the text that we have given. Click on OK. Use as free. Now let's click on run, and as we can see, a new column has been created as expected. So the functionality should be when we click on voucher details, it should open a new query and pass the parameter in dynamic. So let's go to expression, click on add expression, select drilling URL, and this time we will go with query URL. So query URL and let's provide this information. Portal will be employee, or will be ERP. And we need to provide the query name. So our query name is this one. Let's select the query name. And format will be HTML because we are interested to check the results online on the browser. But you can also select XNS or XML. So HTML, and now we need to provide the prompt keys. So when we run the query, it has these two prompts set up. So we need to provide values for these two prompts. So click on prompt keys. As you can see, automatically these two prompts appear. So select the first one and link this with business unit PO. Similarly, select PO by D and link this with POI. Now click on OK. And before we click on OK, we need to map the columns. So map columns and this is the new column that we have created. It's an expression. So click on OK. Again, click on OK. So if we run the report, we can see we have URLs enabled for this new column. So let's check our old transaction, which is this one. So if we click on voucher details, it is opening a new tab and it is running the query and it is showing the report as expected. So this is how you can use drilling URL to link two or more queries for your report. So this concludes today's episode. And if you found this video helpful, then please like this video as it really helps to grow the channel. And we will bring all such content for your people's own learning. Thank you.